Asperger syndrome and what it means in America and what it means to be born with it and how it affects me and how it affects the mass majority of society. To start off with, I was diagnosed with Asperger syndrome at the age of 14 years old and I had lots of disabilities being born a pound and a half. I could not learn how to speak or to walk till I was two years old. And I had motor coordination problems throughout all my years. I couldn't ride a bicycle till I was 10. And it has affected me in a very harsh way throughout my life. Socially, mentally, I've had lots of depression. Lots of things going on with me. To start off with, Asperger syndrome is a form of autism. For those of you that don't know what it is. It was discovered in the 40s by a, name, by a man named Hans Asperger during World War II. Uh, Asperger syndrome has affected me socially with people and with my friends. And I went to special ed my entire life and I um, took a lot of special classes. I went to a school called Marcus in Concord. It was for special ed children specifically, and they um, they taught me a lot of social skills and how to better myself. I've uh, I still have problems to this day. I'm 27 years old. I still have problems holding down a job and having the right group of friends socially with people. I'm constantly being harassed by others and being accused of things particularly by females when I have not done anything and it's affected me in a very rough way and it really really has brought me down to a level where I cannot explain at this very moment how I feel except heartbroken and hurt I came from a broken home a single mother, a grandmother with cancer my grandmother died when I was only seven years old and my mother was locked away at an institution. I was sent to live with my father. And during the six months I lived with my father, I was abused sexually by his girlfriend. And it really took a toll on me. And I have not spoken to him in over 15 years. And he got remarried and I have other siblings who I've never met, and a stepmother. And it mentally took its effect on me. I take care of my mother who was disabled and who had a stroke. It also takes a toll on me too. Having Asperger, you know, there's no, I can only describe it as a curse. It's not a good thing to have. Um, one of the symptoms would be to have obsessive compulsive disorder to be, to perseverate on one subject matter. And there are some people who have Asperger's that are very smart, like Bill Gates, Donald Trump, Keanu Reeves, and others. Socially, though, having Asperger's syndrome really takes a toll on someone. And it's very hard to function in society in front of others. It's very hard to make age-appropriate friends and peers. And being in a social setting, it's not always easy to to be part of the subject that's going on with other people. You have to find the right appropriate things to say. It's very hard to differentiate what's appropriate and what isn't. And even though you know I know what's right and wrong, I still get accused of things that the vulgarity and sexual harassment. And I've never sexually harassed anyone in my life. I've always treated women with respect. I, I don't have a girlfriend. It's very hard for me to find dates. I've gotten dates on Craigslist. It's just very hard to find a woman to be attract from, to be attracted to me, quote unquote. And okay, I admit I'm not the best looking of people. I can accept that, but it's very hard. It's a bitter pill to swallow. For those of you out there who do have Aspergers, you're not alone. It's very hard to find hope and faith. 
also being a non-religious person that I am even though I was baptized Orthodox I've never really followed a particular religion my mother was always very religious and always talking about the Bible and it really annoyed me to a point where I became rebellious I started drinking smoking weed hanging with a lot of bad people and living in a neighborhood that I live in full of jailbirds and pedophiles and other things it's very hard to function and adapting to people of a higher class and um, I make these videos as a therapy to look back on it's very uh, difficult for me to describe how I feel. A lot of people make fun of me, get the wrong impression about me, and talk about me inappropriately. And I treat people with respect, and I believe when you treat somebody with respect, you get respect back. You give respect, you get respect. That's always a motto I've always followed. I still continue to drink once in a while for recreational use. I'm not an alcoholic. I've had problems with alcohol in the past. I've had a couple different jobs throughout my life. And um, maintaining the right group of friends and social circle is very difficult for me, being at my age. And I deal with a lot of depression. And I'm in a lot of pain. I'm not going to lie to you guys. And um, I've been 51 50 as well, several times in the past. And for those of you out there that are looking for an answer, all I can say is, you know, just live day by day, find things that you like to do, find an activity. Me, I play guitar, but sometimes it isn't even enough. I listen to music. Rock and roll is my favorite music. My favorite rock band is The Doors. And has been since I was 13 years old. I love going to movies, hanging out with a couple of my friends here and there. I'm sort of what you would describe as a nerd, more or less. Even though I don't look at myself as a nerd or view myself that way. And for those of you, you're not alone again.